Okay, this is a network emergency response vehicle, or NERV, that we have uh, one on each coast this size and also a Suburban that has a smaller set of kit in it. But what we have is the ability to roll into a situation like a Katrina, and uh, we didn't have it then, but like that type of area where we can immediately establish communication, voice, video, and data. Uh, and it, it allows us to do it in a consistent, repeatable, reliable response because what we have is a core set of team folks that work on network emergencies all the time in disaster areas. So one of the most recent ones, of course, was the San Diego fires, the Harris fire. This vehicle that I'm standing in was actually down there. We rolled onto the site with the Sheriff's Department, San Diego County Sheriff, and right next to their command vehicle. At that time, all they had were personal cell phones and radios. We gave them a tour of the vehicle, asked them what they wanted, and of course their immediate response was they wanted it all. Within 30 minutes, we were able to give them wired and wireless voice and data capability, uh, IP phones with wired and wireless, and also we're streaming video to uh, their uh, truck with using the, uh, the video capabilities that we have here in the uh, digital media encoder. In addition to that, we gave them outbound fax capability and we tied in the uh, fire radios with the police, the San Diego County uh, Sheriff's uh, right down there uh, in, in the Harris Fire area. So they were able to have interoperability. They only wanted listen only mode, but they had the capability to go either way. In this vehicle, we have obviously a lot of Cisco technology up to and including telepresence across the satellite. And we used all of that during that uh, situation. A lot of other situations may or may not require all of the technology, uh, but we roll up on site and we can expand it, retract it, however it was necessary to, to fit the mission. Uh, we have uh, not only uh, the standard routers, switches, all the rest of that, we're running Call Manager Express, uh, we're running the WAS uh, Wide Area Acceleration uh, Module, the 3G cellular card, we're also using uh, the IPIC system, uh, we have a series of onboard radios that are the base station radios that are tied into the IPIC server through the 2811s and the ENM interfaces and we can reprogram those radios and that's exactly what we did down at the Harris fire is we took one of the uh, the radios from the fire people and one from the uh, San Diego County Sheriff's and we bonded them together. We just reprogrammed our onboard radios and then immediately we were able to bring them into, into discussion groups together. So it became a very useful thing for them to do. We also have the uh, DSS satellite dishes so we're able to bring in national news and we digitized that, encoded it, and sent it, uh, sent it over the internet to through the satellite to the, uh, the Sheriff's Department to a Windows Media Player that we had set up for them. And of course, this is just the operator panel. We have the ability to do all the different types of radios, UHF, VHF, HF, and uh, also we have the AC-1000, the legacy system, so that bond just radios together. We bring that in as a channel also with IPIX. But this is much more than just about a single technology. It's about a way of doing business, and it's about a way of providing a total solution to the customer. This system allows us to do several things that a lot of others cannot do because of the way it's put together as a solution. So taking IPIX as an example, we obviously have it installed here, but we're able to bring first responders, National Guard, Sheriff's Department, Custom and Border Patrol. We had over 400 officers down at the Harris County Fire, and we were able to bring them together in a uh, virtual talk group and allow them to communicate with each other and extend it out. And one of the things that's really important is the ability to do that very quickly so that the trained crews that we have here quickly uh, change the radios out and reprogram them to the Harris County fire uh, frequencies. So we didn't need any of their equipment, we reprogrammed what we had on board. Again, not just providing the software, the point solution as, as IPIX, as wonderful as it is, but providing the expertise to quickly and uh, do that and change things as we went along. So uh, that, that's part of the, the whole philosophy of providing it as a solution. So. 
what we spoke about before was up the up front, the operators area. In the back, being able to separate this is a command center area. What we were able to do down at the Harris County Fire is we were able to bring the commanders in here, let them have a consolidated place to work, and also be able to provide any of the information that you saw before in the operators area back here on the large screen TV. We have legacy video teleconferencing and we also have uh, telepresence uh, video conferencing. Uh, we were able to have a discussion face-to-face uh, -face with them from Raleigh, North Carolina and be able to look at them and, and offer our assistance as uh, we were just rolling it out with them. So most customers will buy these type of solutions uh, through um, a vehicle manufacturer or something like that. Uh, Cisco, uh, over the last two years, has been uh, looking at providing this as a service to customers, as a managed service, and we were able to do that now. And we can provide not only the equipment, but we provide the satellite link, we provide the vehicle, if it's a vehicle-borne solution, and the dedicated intellectual property. The intellectual property is what really matters here, is how to put all these together. Anybody can go out and build a vehicle. Anybody can go out and buy the Cisco equipment and put it in there. But it's the expertise behind it and making it work the way we make it work that makes the difference here. It's a brand new server, something that is, that is just coming out, and it is something that, again, we took out of our experiences in all these disasters in Bondarashi and Katrina and all the rest of them, to include the Harris Fire. There were some lessons learned out of that that we'll incorporate now into our system and allows us to provide that so that in 20 minutes or 30 minutes from showing up, we have an established communication system that everybody can take advantage of.